Hello， 大家好，我是 J， 我是 Ari， 欢迎来到我们的频道。<笑> so J has been telling me he wants to eat at the Chinese KFC, and I'm like, what do you mean we have KFC here? <laughs> Miss Chinese KFC in China. Yeah, so we've been talking a little bit already, and it turns out KFC, McDonald's, and Pizza Hut are way different in America than they are in China. So this is the Chinese KFC breakfast. Wow. So the Chinese donut and Chinese porridge. Wow, you've made both of these homemade before. I never thought an American fast food chain would sell it. Oh, yeah. they even have the purple one. The purple rice porridge,、yeah. mushroom chicken porridge. Thousands eggs with pork oh, porridge. Oh no way! They're selling thousand eggs at KFC. <laughs> And this is Chinese hamburgers. Interesting. One thing that kept confusing Jay is he kept calling a chicken sandwich a hamburger. I was like, it's not a hamburger unless it's beef. <laughs>、uh, yeah, I, I always got confused about、yeah. that. Yeah. This is a beef hamburger. 在美国就不叫汉堡，应该叫鸡肉三明治。猪肉汉堡包也不叫汉堡包，也叫猪肉三明治。Yeah. 只有中间夹着是牛肉，才叫汉堡包。对、right. <laughs> ，很有意思。<laughs> Now we are going to buy some American KFC. There are three KFCs pretty close to our house, like eight minutes, nine minutes, and ten minutes away. So that just kind of shows how many KFCs are around America. You'll always have an option. I found I already had a fast food thing left in our car. <laughs> We made it to KFC. I can tell that this is a pretty new building. Some of them are really old in America, but let's check it out. Kentucky, yeah, yeah. Are we the only customer here? It's not very popular to eat in like inside. People eat in their cars. Oh, do you guys mind if we film a little bit? No, go ahead. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. 八个鸡腿的全家口，加上两个配菜，加上四个小面包。二十六点九九美元。Usually, if you go to a fair in America, there's something called a funnel cake, and they have the powdered sugar on top. So this is a funnel cake fry version. I've never seen it, so I got one of these. Best. Best. <laughs> That was like a minute later. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Today, we're in Beijing. Today, we're going to eat this Kentucky. It's called Kentucky. Kentucky. That's right. This is funnel cake fries. It's like a fried cake, and then they put powdered sugar on top. Hmm, this is good. You can eat this usually when you go to festivals, like carnivals. This is sweet. It's really not healthy. Fast food is not very healthy, but it's still delicious. Woo! My some of my favorite foods are chicken biscuit. Chicken biscuit. That's our favorite. I got. This is the biscuit. Chicken 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 biscuit. Fluffy biscuit. I love chicken biscuit. I've been craving this all the time these days. This is this kind of soft, this kind of good bread. Jay doesn't really like these though. I don't really like it. I already ordered Tennessee Nashville hot. Nashville hot. So this chicken is really saucy. This is my favorite、uh, fried chicken. Yeah, it's very spicy. Is that still what you like? Really、mm. good. It's a lot. A box of three-piece chicken tender. Yeah, like this chicken tender is three. Was six twenty-nine.、Okay. So you're basically paying two U.S. dollars per、oh, one、what? chicken tender. And one biscuit was one dollar. Oh, so this this biscuit is just the biscuit was one dollar. Do you think KFC is the most popular fast food in America? No, McDonald's is number one. McDonald's is number one. Yeah. 我个人觉得呢，在装修和店面设计上，美国的和中国的肯德基、麦当劳差别不是特别大，差别最大的是 Pizza Hut 在中国的必胜客。Pizza Hut is so different in China. Normally, when people are going date, then they are going to a fancy restaurant.
是个披萨，上面有菠萝，还有培根。今天总共花费是八十一块五。I was shocked that Pizza Hut would be a fancy date place. <laughs> Guys, we'll show you what the Pizza Hut looks like in America. You'd never bring your date there. Look at our really fancy date night. <laughs> Pizza Hut. <laughs> there are three chairs inside, but you can't even eat in there. America's Pizza Hut are so small. There's no one. But it works. They're hiring. They're hiring. Ah, they're shopping. Look, they're offering you to have a Christmas gift card to Pizza. <laughs> That's cute. Now, basically, it's all free food. Not like our Chinese restaurants. I love the smell of this stuff. So you love pizza, right? I do. I do. I'm impressed with this pizza. Hey, uh, thank you guys for offering Ariella. Thank you so much. Alright, so have a good how, one. How much of this? This one was fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. Oh, thank you. Let's see how big it is. It's about this big. 有两种不同口味，这个饮料是两点七五美元。This is the Pizza Hut in America. All right, we got our carry out. I'm starving, so this is one of the reasons sometimes why we just order in pizza in America is you're just tired to cook. But we don't have this like as a regular. Dinner. It's usually if you have a party or a football game or you're just too lazy to cook, that's kind of when you order in pizza. Ah. Is this what the large looks like in China? Uh, not that big. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. In Chinese Pizza Hut, they also serve steak. What? And really? And uh, chicken wings. Well, they have chicken wings here, but steak? Yeah. That's really good. And uh, some, you know, wine. Like a good quality wine, so it's basically like a fancy Western restaurant. Really? Yeah. We have pop. That's how casual it is. <laughs> just pop and pizza. This is how American Pizza Hut looks like. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, I love that cheese. It's perfect every time. Do you eat with your hands? Yeah. In China, yeah. you eat the pizza. With you your eat hands. the pizza with your hands. I don't know actually. <laughs> Let us know if you guys eat pizza with your hands, because this is like what pretty much every American does. I remember the pizza in China. They also put some pineapple, some fruits on the top. Oh yeah, there is one with pineapple in America. Yeah. I personally like Chinese pizza more. Really? Yeah. I got the stuffed crust. Ooh. So there's cheese. That's a cheese. Inside. Even inside of the crust. Oh, you can take a cheese. Thank you, Lah and Chang. All right, so I would rate this as a date. <laughs> Probably only a three out of a ten for a day night experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost impossible to date someone in America <laughs> in those fast food restaurants. Yeah, I mean you can have a really cozy night bringing home pizza. That's right. And that would be a very casual date. Yeah. But it would never be like a first date or, you know, even the first month of dating. You would never go there together. That's true. <laughs> so. And the pizza is not considered very fancy. Yeah, I think it's pretty cheap because people, for a cheap option, when they're throwing a party, they're like, oh, we'll just we'll just all pitch in to get pizza. Uh, so it can feed a lot of people. It's kind of like a party food. It's a party. Ah, food. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I remembered, I went to American friend's home. I brought pizza. 现在我们来我们的朋友家吃披萨。哎 ，Your deliver, your delivery. <laughs> so if you don't know what food you can bring, bring pizza. Yeah, pretty much pizza will always be a happy like acceptance when you bring pizza. People will always be happy when you bring them pizza in America, <laughs> for the most part. That's an interesting culture. Yeah. yeah. Shonghao. So we wanted to show you guys what the McDonald's breakfast menu looks like in America, because I imagine it's pretty different than in China, even elsewhere around the world. So I really can't remember the last time I had McDonald's for breakfast. Really? <laughs> okay, McDonald's. In America, every five minutes, you can find a McDonald's restaurant. Only a dollar for even the large size pop. We went online to look at. 全美的话，麦当劳排第一，也是最受欢迎的这个快餐店。Let's go, let's 
time with an American breakfast menu, right? That's right. I'm actually kind of excited. I haven't I had this in so long. 啊，麦当劳还是比较便宜的，像一美元就可以买到一些东西。It's McDonald's open for 24 hours in America? No, it usually closes, I think, around 11 or midnight, and opens probably around six. In some big city in China, they open 24 hours. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Wow. That's so cool. This is called the Big Breakfast. So it has pancakes, eggs, biscuit. Hash browns. What's this? Coffee. I got a coffee. Orange juice. Chili. This costs a dollar more than this biscuit. This 顿早饭呢，加上税是十二点九八美元。This is one of my favorites. The hash browns. This is like deep fried potatoes. The sandwich is only a little over a dollar. So this is one of the cheapest breakfast, hot breakfasts you can get in America. Oh, they give you three pancakes. This is a pancake, American pancake, and add syrup. Oh, the pancake. But it's not a very sweet pancake. Oh, that's what I want. Actually, these are pretty good. Yeah. This might even be better than my own. Mmm, good. <laughs> when I was a little girl, this is what I would order. When I was a little boy, I didn't know this thing. <laughs> it's too expensive for me when I was young. Really? Huh? Chen Zhi. All right, we finished up our McDonald's. <laughs> yep. Ari doesn't like this coffee, but I like it. I took one smell of it, and I was like, no, I just can't do this cheap of coffee. I just like a cheap coffee. He loves know. cheap coffee. That's your favorite coffee. I also like instant coffee. <laughs> I don't like high quality coffee. I don't know why. That's so funny. I needed to do some grocery shopping, so I'm just coming in, and I thought I could get a coffee at Starbucks, actually. And show you guys the difference of Starbucks in America. I'm going to get some groceries. Okay, I'll see you later. See you. <laughs> Look at all the football apparel they have at this grocery store. Kansas City pride for the football team that keeps winning. And the Starbucks is just right here. It's just its own little pocket. Now they're advertising a four dollar grande. That one looks good. All right, so I got a vanilla cream cold brew, which I only got a small because she said it's pretty high in caffeine. But um, this one I researched is actually a flavor you can only get in America. So let me know if that's true. If you guys can order a vanilla cream cold brew in China or not, or wherever you are around the world. Oh, it's good. It's not too sweet. I was worried it'd be too sweet. It's actually pretty good. I want to say Starbucks is not my favorite. I like more of local coffee shops, but it's convenient. It's usually the coffee shop at most places, most locations. So if there's no local coffee shop locally owned, locally run by people in the city, sometimes I'll still go for a Starbucks. Ball ball. You want to try it? Yeah. This flavor is only in America. Oh, and I meant to say this was 4.85 for just a tall, which is how you say small. You so know. we have tall, grande, grande. and venti. There you go, venti. Yeah. Good. Job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our milk. See how huge of the American milk? It's crazy. <laughs> I now have that salt stuck in my head. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed getting to see what McDonald's, KFC, and Pizza Hut look like in America. Yep. And hearing about how different it is in China. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Our greasy pizza. <laughs>
I can help you. Hey, um, can I make a, a pickup order for 6 o'clock? Okay, can you hold on just a second for me? Okay, thank you. It's pizza time! Sure, you could order a pizza and be done with it, but pizzas get lonely. Thing that's not pizza. That's right. Pizza Hut has chicken wings. 